Well, the, the East Africans in the diaspora can actually benefit a lot from the community. They can find jobs in the community. Uh, you, as you know myself, I was a member of the diaspora for 23 years. I was in Europe and, and in the US. And uh, uh, so people uh, can work in many places uh, in EAC. They can work in international organizations such as EAC, uh, they can work in uh, the private sector and uh, the kind of opportunities they, they find in, uh, on the ESC market uh, I think uh, are very interesting. At the ESC at this point, we have been able to employ more than 50, anywhere between 50 and 100 persons who leave Europe, who leave Canada and uh, other countries in Africa and come to work uh, in the ESC region. Uh, the, there is a lot of potential for growing uh, businesses, for creating uh, new businesses. Uh, as you know, the markets in, uh, in North America and uh, Europe you know, are kind of uh, saturated. Uh, it's hard to, to undertake something new in these countries. And uh, the ESC region is still open to so many opportunities of, of offering services. Uh, of creating companies in some areas where there are needs. And uh, this is something that the diaspora needs to look at. Mm -hmm. If they want to make investment, uh, I think uh, they should actually really consider that. Knowing that uh, uh, if they are from Burundi and they want to do business in Tanzania or in Kenya, they are able to do that. Okay. Uh, so they don't have the kind of hindrances they would have if they were settling in other countries.